Hi guys, Millie Fox here. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about birth control. So there was a time many years ago, many, many years ago, that I was taking birth control pills. And I started doing some reading, um, not intentionally actually, I was reading a book about meat, <laughs> meat production. Um, and they were talking about the hormones they used in raising the cattle. Um, and I just got super freaked out about hormones and I stopped taking birth control pills. Um, I just, I've had a few freakouts like that in my life where I just didn't want any more synthetic chemicals or hormones going into my body, but that's just me. Um, everybody has to make the choices that are right for them and do the things that are right for them in their life, which is the best thing about being in 2016 that we get to make those choices and we get to feel confident in those choices. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you today about is the worry that might go along with being on birth control um, and feeling like maybe you've been on birth control for so long that it might be too much and you might have trouble getting pregnant when you come off of birth control. So I would like to reassure you and let you know that the chances are really good that you're not going to have any issues at all and you'll be able to come off just fine and you'll regain your cycle and no issues whatsoever. Um, and there's different types of birth control. I'm referring to pretty much all of them. Um, IUDs, you know, pills, patches, morning after pills, um, the ring, all of that stuff, even spermicide. So you're just maybe wondering uh, which ones are good to be using when you know you're thinking about having a baby in the next like one to three years or so? And when should you come off birth control and how long should you wait and things like that. So like most things, there's no real set recommendation that's going to work for everybody. But I would recommend if you're coming, if you're coming close to the time where you want to have a baby to come off of birth control and let your body rebalance its hormones. So that's going to be different for everyone. And it might not just be about rebalancing hormones. It might be about rebalancing, um, let's say, um, if you're on, if you have a copper IUD, taking that out and letting your body rebalance its zinc to copper ratios as well. Uh, so I would say it depends on the person, obviously, but it might take anywhere um, from three to six months or even up to a year for your, for your body to rebalance itself. So finding other birth control methods to use in the meantime while your body is recalibrating is going to be your best option. And, you know, you're going to have to gauge it to, um, to your body and how it's going to respond. So I would say if you want to have a baby in the next year, think about coming off within the next few months to see how it goes and, um, you know, using something like condoms um, or doing some fertility charting. There's lots of different apps that can help you figure out when you're ovulating and when a safe window for you and your partner to have intercourse would be to avoid getting pregnant. Um, I use an app called Kindara. Uh, I, I know there's a lot more, but it's officially, the title is called Fertility Awareness, that type of tracking. And uh, there's a great website called fertilityfriday.com that talks a lot about that. Uh, and I've even heard people using things like sea sponges um, as birth control too. So there's lots of options while you are in that period of time where you're letting your body rebalance. And uh, there are things you can do to assist it too. So I did talk about in my last video uh, ways to heal your cycle before you get pregnant. And all of those things apply just as well to this topic. And I'll link to that video as well as a free download that I created, a free PDF download, uh, five ways to heal your cycle before you get pregnant. Um, and like I said, I'll just review a little bit before uh, we go about what my main point on that was. It's really important to heal your cycle and let it become rebalanced before you try to get pregnant because you're, you're 
cycle is the best indicator of the health of your pregnancy or how healthy your pregnancy will be, how easy it will be for you to conceive. So if you have a symptom-laden um, cycle, then you are more likely to experience some difficulties trying to get pregnant or during pregnancy. So it's important to pay attention to our bodies and get in touch with what's going on and try to naturally, you know, get back to where, you know, our body's happy. And that w might not look the same for everybody. So check down below. I will include a link for that free PDF download as well as a link back to Fertility Friday that I mentioned. And um, I'll, I'll put a link to the, the app Kindara that I also mentioned down below. And if you'd like to connect with me on a deeper level, you can come find me on my private Facebook group called Radiant and Ready with Millie Fox. Uh, it's a safe space to talk about um, you, your health journey and what you're looking to do um, and talk privately with me about what you're trying to achieve in that space. So I'll put a link to that in the, um, in the description notes as well. And I hope to see you, um, you know, somewhere else on the internet soon. Bye!